monkeying around yesterday and doing some coupons. Uh, I got a little leftover and I'll use it today. Spelled something on the back side there. But I hear a lot of crap. Yeah, sometimes I get a kick out of it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Glasses on. Get this one a little bit down my nose so I can see. Or you can see. Not everything you hear on the internet is true. Get down under here. There we go. Blood started getting in the way there. I got my hand on top of the rod actually. It's a little bit easier. I've been having a hard time bracing against that table there with a the jack for the um, vice in the position it's in. Okay, let's get that out of there. Uh, there's the side we welded on. There it is. These crazy things off. Ah, here we go. Ah. All right. Let's set it back down in there. Uh, slag. You let them down like this, your slag turns to iron. Okay. That looks pretty good. Uh, first off, that'll give you an idea just really how nice it is to, I mean, really. Uh, Kelly has a way that she's like, awesome. I, I can't do it. But anyhow, uh, that'll give you an idea. Just that Ranger puts out a beautiful, beautiful arc. I mean, it, it's some of the sweetest things, what well, the sweetest I've ever welded with outside of an inverter machine. Uh, that I was uh, running over there in Oregon when I was there in Washington. Okay, now, here's the surprise, guys. See that? Let me turn it over. What do you see on there? I don't see Excalibur, do you? What do you think that is? That's Hobart. Hobart 7018. I hear these you can't run Hobart, it's the cheap stuff. Well, I gotta throw that cheap stuff out. I gotta do some serious stuff. I ain't gonna buy that junk rod. Oh, that's that tractor supply rod. Well, I went over to Atwoods today, had to buy a gas can. I figured, you know, let's debunk one of these myths here. 
I, I get so tired of hearing stuff. But anyhow, there you go. I mean, look at uh, that. That is the difference in the machines, and I, I can't. You know, I I really tell people don't spend the money on the more expensive machine, and I still got to say that to be honest with you. I mean, I got a use uh, for a Ranger. And so for me, it, it's a good investment, and I use the daylights out of it. And, you know, but I suppose the closest you could come is, like I say, an inverter. And you're out, oh, I guess nowadays at least $800. The price is coming down. I don't know how reliable they are, but, you know, that's what they sell for these days. And then you'll get, you can get a, uh, weld that pretty now another thing to keep in mind a lot of these demos you see they're using those inverters and they've got uh, what is it uh, arc force control or something like that I mean they can they can kind of play around with them you know to make them you know just run to a T I mean to a T uh, well this machine doesn't have that I mean, it's just plain old, just plain old welder. What you see is what you get. I mean, my fine adjustment is right there. That's that's all I can adjust. Uh, other than that, it's my hands and my eyes, and we go from there. Now here's here's a few here from Sunday. I think that was the one that uh, you saw in the video, right there. And then this was the one where uh, I showed you the arc from the side. I think it was the second part of that uh, previous video. The difference is, as you can see, it, it's not as clean looking, but good God, who cares? I mean, if you can take one of those cheap machines and weld like that, that is all you need to do. And it, it's hand and eye, guys, hand and eye. All right, well, you all take care. Uh, I figure probably next I'll do some overhead, do some overhead fillets and, or we'll start with some horizontal uh, stringers just to kind of, we'll work our way up the wall is what we'll do uh, when I do those. We'll just run some plain old stringers, just hang them on the side of the wall. I can give you an idea of the rod motion and angle, all of that, and what you ought to be looking for. Because personally, I think, well, I mean, that's just me. I have a little more trouble with an overhead fillet than I do with an uphill fillet. Um, it, that's just me. Uh, it's awkward for me. I don't like looking up. Um, I don't like crap falling in my face. I mean, that, that's just the way it is. But anyhow, that's probably the next stuff I do. But I did want to bust a myth for you. All right, y'all, take care.